God's uh, we come together tonight as we go out over the waves. Uh, uh, people listening on the, on the radio broadcast, and people listening uh, or to our video broadcast of the service. I, I, I'm glad that uh, Jesus touched me. Amen. I, I, I'm glad that uh, even before the foundation of the world, I believe this with all my heart, Jesus thought about me. Amen. And He thought about you. Amen. He was thinking to that way that He was going to make a way for you and I because I guarantee you He knew what was going to happen in the Garden of Eden. He knew what was going to happen down through the sands of time. He knew he knew every step every man, woman, and child was going to make. He knows yeah. all about us. I, yeah. uh, there ain't nothing hid from him. I, I just praise the Lord. I, I, get, I think we uh, uh, lose track or lose sight of just how yeah. great a God that uh, yeah. uh, we have, how great a God that we serve. And I, uh, He's just He's amazing. He's yeah. wonderful. He, he's everything to you and I. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, even the lost man, He's allowed him to live. He's yeah. allowed him to breathe at any time. Uh, uh, God could take that breath. He could take that step from them, but it's not His will as the Word of God says that any should perish, but that all uh, should come to everlasting life. Uh, and He even said, Precious in the eyes of the Lord and the death of His saints. Uh, I tell you tonight, uh, uh, you and I, if anything else, the greatest thing we've ever done, uh, all we're doing in this life is give our life to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, to bow down. Uh, humble ourselves and call upon His name for the greatest thing uh, I'd ever done in my life. I tell you, I just don't know what I'd do without this man named Jesus. I, uh, he truly is the way. I, I've lost my way time and time again. I, I, but he's always uh, up at holding my hand. He showed me uh, the way that I should go. I might not go at first. I, I, but praise God, I, I, he shows me the way. I, even when he'll let me go as far I, as I want to go. I, as far as I'm willing to go. I, uh, but praise God, He said, He said, He'll never leave us. Uh, yeah. And He'll never forsake us. Uh, yeah. uh, praise God, thank Him for His amazing grace. Yeah. Sit down yeah. from heaven. I, yeah. I tell you what, I, I've been feeling, praise God, I'm not to step on the glasses here in a minute. Uh, it'll be all right. Uh, God providing you. And if that's so, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what, there ain't nothing greater in my life. Uh, I'm just beginning yeah. to figure out at uh, yeah. 50 years of age that uh, Jesus, God, uh, is the greatest thing. Uh, in my life, praise the Lord. I thank Him, thank Him for everything. He's answered prayers. I didn't deserve to be answered. He's made a way when I didn't deserve the way. Praise God, I'll tell you what. If you don't know this man named Jesus, before you leave this life, you need to make things right with Him. You need to call upon the name of Jesus. He's the only name you can call upon. He's the only God you can pray to. He said, Besides me, there's none else. He said, I am that I am. Tell him that I am sent me when he's talking to Moses there. But brother, I'll tell you, he's a great God. He's been here. He's always been. He'll always ever be. And he said, heaven and earth that pass away, but my word will not. But brother, it's right here. be standing there. The day that it's rolled up, rolled up as a scroll. The day that there's no room to hide. And be cried out from the mountains uh, yeah. and the rocks to fall upon them. Uh, but there'll be no way to escape. Uh, yeah, he said, even those that's in the deep, uh, in the water, he said, uh, and in the ground, uh, even in the depths of hell, uh, he'll raise up yeah. one day uh, and we'll stand in judgment yeah, uh, uh, and give us accountability uh, of the deeds done in the body, uh, yeah. whether they be good or bad. Uh, that's for all of us, but I'm glad, brothers and sisters. I made a choice a long yeah. time ago yeah. as a young man. I'm not telling you I'm perfect. I don't preach sinless perfection. Yeah. But I preach to the one that is sinless. Yeah. Amen. And he is perfect. Yes, sir. In him is light and there's no darkness at all. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Well, he's our advocate, as the Word said. Yeah. He said, praise God, he said, if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just and, uh, to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That uh, thing has got a lot of people confused today. I read that the other day, brother, where it said, 
sins that are past. Yeah. Uh, brother, and you get saved, you still got to pray. You still yeah. got to ask God to, to forgive you yeah. for all sin and come show the glory of God. Yeah. Uh, but the time we get saved, He saved us uh, from there. Uh, I've even heard the old timers say, uh, uh, you better hope the coals ain't heaped up over your head. Uh, yeah. At the time He calls you, I've heard that. Uh, uh, but I tell you, uh, uh, there's no greater gift. It was a free gift. Uh, yeah. uh, Jesus Christ and His shed blood uh, on the cross of yeah. Calvary. Uh, yeah. uh, it was free to you and I. Uh, and it's not of works, lest any man yeah. should boast. Uh, uh, brother, we can't work for it. Uh, uh, we can't buy it. Uh, uh, we can't even steal it. Uh, uh, brother, somebody else can't get us for it. Get it for us, Brother Cain. Uh, uh, my sister's Cain. Uh, uh, but Jesus hey. did it. Uh, uh, praise yeah. God, He paid the sin debt. Uh, yeah. He paid it full. He satisfied the Father. Yeah. Praise God, it pleased Him, the Word says. Uh, for the Lord to be pleased Him to bruise Him. Uh, yeah. uh, praise God, it pleased Him. God Almighty, uh, uh, when His Son picked up the sin, uh, took it upon Himself, uh, yeah. uh, the sins of the whole world uh, were cast upon Him, uh, and it said, Cursed was anyone uh, uh, that hangeth on the tree. Uh, he bore the curse. Uh, he bore the shame. Uh, he bore all of the pain and suffering uh, you and I deserve. And I was thinking uh, yeah. about that man that was on the cross that was beside Him. There was one. Uh, uh, he had he realized just who he was hanging uh, on the cross by. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, I tell you, he said uh, uh, that we were worthy of what we were getting. Uh, yeah. Him and that other man, but he said, uh, praise God. Yes, he was saying that Jesus had done no wrong. Uh, oh, what Jesus tell him. Uh, oh, praise God. Yeah. He said, today uh, uh, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Uh, uh, praise his God. Uh, I tell you, it's coming today. Uh, uh, praise His holy name. He's going to step out on the cloud. Yeah. And the thing you and I need to be is ready. Yeah. And not only that, there's a lot of people, well, I can wait. I'll wait when He steps out. I'll be able to say, God, forgive me and save me. I may be laying on my deathbed. I may be about to crash. I may develop some type of sickness. I'll ask Him when that comes upon me. It don't work that way. Amen. It's appointed unto man wants to die. Uh, but after this, the judgment. I, I believe there have been a lot of people. I've been in nursing homes. I, I've been in the hospital. I, I've been seeing them look, look at some people's eyes. Uh, they're not able to talk. Uh, uh, these people that's unconscious, not able uh, uh, to cry out to God in their mind and soul. Uh, uh, brother, you better not wait uh, until it's the last day, uh, uh, the last time. Uh, uh, if the Lord God, uh, through the Holy Spirit, cries out to you, uh, uh, you better move, for Amen. you're not promised another day. Uh, you're not promised He'll call again. Uh, right. uh, praise God, He is a gracious and merciful God. Uh, he don't owe you nothing. Uh, brother, we owe it all to Him. Amen. Sister, we owe it all to Him. Amen. Everything. I tell you all. There's a lot of people I have learned that through the years, even when I was a young man growing up, even as a child, there's a lot of people think God owes them something. We don't owe it. Praise God, He don't owe us nothing. Praise God, we owe Him. We owe it all to Him. Amen. Praise it by chance. We hear if we see and we confess and we be saved before it's too late by His amazing grace. Amen. Praise God through faith in Him and His finished work. It is finished too. When He gave up the ghost on the cross before He died, He said it is finished. Amen. Praise God, there's nothing else to be done. He paid the debt and paid it full for you and I. So why do you wait? He said, now's the accepted time. Uh, today's the day of salvation. Uh, uh, you don't have to wait if the Lord's calling your name. Uh, uh, come unto Him. Uh, as He says, come unto me. Uh, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, He said, I'll give you rest. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, he said, suffer the little children to come unto me uh, and to forbid them not. Uh, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, we need to be a trained child up in the way it should go. Yeah. For the word says when he is old, he'll not depart from it. Amen. Brother, that's what's wrong with the world today. Amen. Good for We're not training our children. 
Bless your heart. We're not worried about ourselves. We're not worried about our friends. We're not worried about our loved ones. We're not worried about our children. We like going on our own way. Think we got all the time in the world. Think we can do what we want to do. And when the time comes when I feel like it and I'm good and ready, I'll ask the Lord to save me. It don't work that way. <laughs> uh, brother, and you can cry this out all the days of your life. The Lord wouldn't send me to hell. God won't send me to hell. Uh, he's not sending you to hell. Uh, you're choosing hell. Uh, brother, He made a way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one cometh unto the Father but by me. Uh, brother, I didn't say tonight, bro, brother, why are you preaching like that? Because there's a fire in me. Yeah. Praise God. There's a light in me. Yeah. Praise God. There's a living God through the Holy Spirit that dwells in me. Praise His holy name. He didn't tell me to change. Yeah. I just because circumstance yeah. changes. Yeah. He didn't tell me to sway just because yeah. things turn to turn out different. Yeah. But brother, he, He's the yeah. same yesterday. Yeah. I took down forever. He said, I'm the Lord thy God, and I change not. There's a many a way to be saved today. There's a many a way a church that you can go to. Many a Bible you can pick up today, but there's only one way. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. And he said, no one will come unto the Father but by me. He said, that old wolf would try to come in some other way. Brother, but he'd not be able to make it. He's a liar. A father of life. Uh, brother, he's a thief. Uh, uh, brother, let me tell you, that old serpent, the devil, uh, he'll tempt you. Uh, he'll tell you, God, he'll tell you uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, God understands. Uh, uh, he understands uh, that you have to have this or you have to do this uh, or you have to go out and have fun before you come to him. Uh, you have to go out and live your life before you come to him. Uh, uh, brother and sister, people today, uh, if you hear to me today, if you've got ears, hear me. If you've got eyes, see me today as I say. Uh, you're not going to go to heaven uh, without the Lord Jesus. Amen. You're not going to go to heaven unless you go His way. Amen. You That's the only way. Right. Amen. That's His heart. Praise the Lord. I'm glad I'm saved. I couldn't make it on my own. I was going to read, but hopefully we won't get to. <laughs> Praise God. I'll tell you. Yeah. Lost and dying souls need to be saved. They need to see. They need to hear. Yeah. It's time. It's time the preachers put down what they think, yeah. they think their opinion is. It's time they put down what they've heard on the internet, on, what they've bro. read in the book. And it's time that they got back in this blessed book, yeah. King James Version Amen. book. And it's time they <laughs> preach the truth to people. Yeah. But brother, let me tell you. I'll tell you, sin will take you further than you want to go. It'll keep you longer than you're willing to stay. And it'll cost you more than you're willing to pay one day. But brother, you sister, we need to make it right with God. We need to give our lives to Christ before it's too late. But brother, and one sister, and one day it will be too late if you don't give your life. Amen. Thank you. I thank God. That he touched me. Yeah. What's well, amazing? What the Lord do a little song in here. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I was sitting in my recliner up there, about our church. Tears in my eyes. I was, I just almost come up out of it. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad someone touched me. That's someone I know, Jesus. Amen. Amen. It wasn't just someone, it was Jesus. Amen. He touched me. Oh, hey, bless my soul. Hey, he can bless you today. You say, my life's just miserable. I'm miserable. I'm empty. I'm depressed. No one loves me. No one cares for me. No one takes no thought for me. The devil's lying to you. Hey, man. He's a liar and father of it. He's lying to you. Jesus has said in His blessed Word and down through the sands of time that He loves each and every one of us. God loves us. He loved us so much that He sent His only begotten Son in this world. Yeah. Praise God for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you. But He also said those who do not believe are condemned already. Amen. 
You're in hell already. You're a dead man walking. You're a dead man. You're a dead woman walking. You're already there. Unless Jesus saves our poor, wretched, miserable, blind, naked souls, that'll be our home. And as we spoke of this morning, hell is enlarged or still. They're growing every day, growing every second of every hour. And it wasn't intended for you. It was intended for the devil and his angels. You're not supposed to be there. And the ones that's there are not supposed to be there. Amen. But you can't pray your way out, Lee. That's right. Jesus can't save you, Lee. I think about, I think about, I think about, preacher, why do you think about hell a lot if you say? Because I try to figure out ways to tell people just how bad it is. And if I, if I was really, really good at it, I still couldn't tell you how bad it was. But it says it's where the worm dieth not and fire is not clean. Right. And it says that you can't do this right here. Brother or sister, you can't even walk up to a brook somewhere or a faucet and get you a drink. There's no water in heaven. I don't believe there's any oxygen in heaven. It's a burning, fiery furnace. You know by fire, it burns it oxygen up. There'll be no end to it. There'll be no getting away from it. You can run from corner to corner for eternity in heaven. So they'd be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. And it says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. That's why we gotta stay in this book. And remember, I preached to me in a sermon. The devil will let you get to the door. It's a real thing. It's got to be a sure thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, praise God, and you can, praise God, make it sure. Amen. I saw a lot of people in in my 50 years. I saw a preacher's wife get saved. Yeah. My mom got saved right here. Mm -hmm. Claimed it all her life. Yeah. Prayed to God every day for me. I know she did. She'd tell me. I seen her down on her knees, brother. Yeah. I've heard her pray. Mm -hmm. But she's lost. And on her way to hell. Oh, and it's one night she's up here. And I was preaching and she come by and the Lord spoke to me. And he said, don't let her go. And when she shook my hand, I grabbed a hold of her and I said, Mama, are you all right? And she said, I don't know. Bless him, Lord. And I said, right over there, Mom, you can fix it. Amen. You can get things to set. Yes. You can get things right. And she got over there. Yeah. Down on her knees. For the first time she told me later, I got to pray my words. I got to pray what I was feeling. Yes. What I was thinking. I prayed to God. And asked Him to forgive me. And asked Him to save me. Praise yes. God. She even turned up. Stood up and turned around. And you don't even see this today when a person proclaims salvation. Hey, somebody else or the preacher or the deacon to get up and say, they just got saved. Yeah. They will come to the altar. If you got saved, I believe you ought to have something about you and yeah. can turn around and, and tell a congregation in the world, the Lord just saved Amen. my soul. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. She turned around and she told everybody in here, they was family, they was friends here. You talk about embarrassing. That'd been embarrassing, wouldn't it? But she knew things had changed hey, right hey, there. Hey, hey, hey. She didn't have no doubts anymore. She didn't have any fears anymore. She stood up, turned around to family and friends. Some of the family and some of the friends that were here was there the day that she got baptized. Yeah. She said, I've been praying for my boy all his life and I should, that he could help people. And she said, I never thought it'd be me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's that easy to be fooled. Yeah. Amen. You come to church every day, you read the book, north from front to back, you can preach ten times better than I can. You can be lost and on your way to heaven. Amen. Amen. You can live the greatest life they ever was. In the Lord Jesus, in a sense. And it's all for naught. 
for ye must be born to be Amen. Amen. <laughs> and all the water on Jesus speaking of the Spirit. You got to be born of the Spirit of God. Yeah. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. That's why we preach through the foolishness of preaching. I've even heard the saints, and they've actually told me this, brother, before. Why do you preach the same old thing all the time? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. These are lost souls. These are confused souls. These are confused Somebody listening to the Word of God through the foolishness of preaching. Bless God, if we're saved and we're right, and a man's preaching the Word, we ought to be standing up shouting, Glory! But he saved me, brother. Man. That's the truth, brother. That's the way the only way. Amen to that, brother. But what do we do? We got locks on our mouths and our hearts. Amen. You got it, preacher. Where is the shame? There is a shame. Said a man that knows to do good and does it not to him and his sin. It don't have to be nothing bad. And sin, sin, and right's right, wrong's wrong, ups up, down, down, left's left, and right's right, forward's forward, and backwards is backwards. And you can't change that. He said, a broad way to lead us to destruction. He said, the straight and narrow way is the way to go. And he said, there'd be few that find it. But all oh, those that find it. <laughs> all those that find it. Oh, what a rejoice. Amen. What a day that'll be. Yes, amen. <laughs> I'm sinner saved by the grace of God. And I've heard people say, I just can't stand it when a preacher says that. That's what I am. Amen. He's called me to preach. He's called some to sing. He's called some to teach. He's called some to be <coughs> workers. We're the body of Christ. We're all saved the same way. That's right. He just called all of us to do a job. We all be a witness. We all to shine a light. Amen. We all to preach in our own little way. He said we're priests and kings. That's in His Word. Yeah. So don't throw it off on one. We all. Must be the light. We all must be. That's right. We all must be that light. Jesus was the lighthouse when he was here. But Jesus is the one who shines the lights. We're storing place for it right now. Let's get back as we close. You may know Jesus. Know all about him. You say, well. Oh, you, you're off your rocker, Pastor. You're off your rocker, preacher. So I'm going to tell you something. I know the president, but I don't really know him. I know his name. know what he does. know a lot of what he's done. But that's it. question is, does Jesus know you? That'll make all the difference in the world. Right. If he knows you. Because he said, my sheep hear my voice. And he hears the sheep. For he's the good shepherd, the great shepherd. Praise God, he's the only shepherd. Amen. <laughs> there is no other shepherd. He'll leave a 99 and go out for you on the highest hill and get you. Bring you back. He'll leave the 99, like I said in the Word. He go out and get old dirty you, old messed up you. He come and get you tonight. He save you tonight. Yeah. He's calling you tonight. Can you hear? Yes, he I pray you can hear, and I pray you obey. Hope you kneel in faith. It said, "Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." Said if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that God has raised his son from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So we have this, you you take deep thought, lost soul. You take deep thought. Young lady, older lady, take thought. Young man, older man. Used to be judged right now. Used to be on the plumb line, as the Bible speaks of. 
How would it weigh out? How would it weigh out? What do you say? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And would he open his arms? Welcome to everlasting life. Amen. And it's all up to you. It's all on you. It's a decision. Father's touching your heart, drawing you through the Holy Spirit. Just don't turn him away. He may not get another chance. It, it's not that he may not call. It's that you may not live to hear. You may not live to hear the second call. That's my message tonight. Brian, I'm coming with the song. <clears throat>